So what's up guys, Xenogrid here and welcome back to a new video. Well, it's great to be back after 3 months. I actually needed that break a lot and well, I just had to fix a few things. But I'll try to be consistent from now. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use any gamepad to play Fortnite, Overwatch 2, Apex Legends or any other game that you can think of. Well, you might see that there's actually a video like this on my channel already. Well, this is basically a 2023 updated version of that. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Now before we begin, there are a few prerequisite software that you'll need to make this work. So here are the softwares that you'll need. First of all, you will need the gamepad driver. Now especially if you're using Windows 10 or 11, you will see that the gamepad driver will automatically install after connecting it to your PC. But if you're using Windows 8, 7 or anything like that, then you have to manually install the gamepad driver. Now, gamepad driver depends on whichever gamepad you're using, especially if you're using a branded one like Cosmo or Fantech or anything like that, then you have to install the gamepad driver from their official website. But if you're using a Chinese knockoff gamepad for like two, three, five, I don't know how many dollars, but really cheap ones, then you can use a universal gamepad driver. Now, as I've said earlier, if you're using the latest Windows, it will install automatically. But if it doesn't, there will be a link down in the description box below. So after that, what you'll need is the Xbox 360 driver. Now also, like before, this is also optional. So if you're using Windows 10 or 11, then it will be installed automatically. If you're using anything lower than that, so go ahead and install both of them from the link down in the description box below. Now those two were the optional softwares that you might or might not need to install. But from this point onwards, all of the softwares that I'm gonna show you are actually mandatory. So you have to install them. So to begin with, you will need something called VGM bus driver. So which is this one? Now I'll put the link of this file down in the description box below. You can install it or I'll put separate link also. You can download it from anywhere you want. So go ahead and install it. So just double click on it. I hope you know how to install a software. But if you don't, just keep on pressing next. The next software that you will need to install on your PC is Hitheight Guardian. Now I'll also link it down in the description box below and how you install it, it is basically the same as VGM bus driver. Now you'll need both of them to make it work properly. The other ones are actually useful for DS3, I mean the Sony DualShock 3 controller, but if you're using any other controller, then you'll, you won't need any of them. So, so just install VGM bus setup and hit right guardian, and that will be it. The next software you'll need, which is gonna be the main software, our core software, which is gonna be X output. By the way, after installing VGM bus setup and hit hide guardian, you will have to restart your PC. So go ahead and restart your PC and then download the X output. Now go into X output. Now while you're here, go ahead and plug in your device. So you can plug your device any way you want. I don't care if it's a wireless one, then connect it wirelessly. If it's a wired one, connect it wiredly. So go ahead and plug in your device. And after plugging your device in, you'll see that my device has been detected as a wireless controller with some random numbers that I don't care. Now in case if you don't see this device here, then there's surely some driver issues. Go ahead and install the driver again. Now you have to figure this out on your own because every controller is different. But if you still can't figure it out, then find me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll reply to you. I'll try to help as much as I can. Now from here, go to game controllers, then go to edit. Now, as you can see, I already have my controller configured, but when you come here first, you'll see that everything here is empty. So go ahead and go to configure all. Now go ahead and start configuring the software. I mean, configuring your controller as shown in the like little show, or I don't know what to say, I guess diff or gif right here. So just follow that and keep on pressing the buttons accordingly. Now another thing I would like to mention is that when you're assigning the X axis or Y axis, the minimum value has to be zero and the maximum value has to be 100. That's gonna be the perfect Y and X axis value. By the way, that also applies for Z axis as well. So the minimum value will be zero and the maximum value will be 100. So make sure to keep it that way. Otherwise you'll see that you're having actually some drifting issues and things like that. By the way, you might also see that the rotational R axis is actually inverted. 
So in that case just go to this ROI and click the invert button and then you will see that it's working properly. By the way in case if you are having some issues what you can do is calibrate your controller. Now as you can see everything here is actually fine like I didn't configure this one I actually missed it sorry for that and also my d-pad is showing I mean not showing in the perfect position it should be in the middle. So in that case I have to go ahead and configure it again. So now this will be the ideal solution I mean the ideal case of what it will look like but if it doesn't look like that or you're having some kind of issue like one corner is going that way or that way I mean I don't know like going right or left then what you have to do is calibrate your controller and greatly enough you can calibrate your controller from here. So just close this go to file then go to game controllers then from here you will see your controller now for some reason it's not showing mine but well wait a minute uh, let me fix it oh you have to you might have to start it first sorry you have to start it first then go to your properties then here go to settings and then hit on calibrate so just go ahead and select next and calibrate it <clears throat> so just follow the instructions right here so go ahead and keep on following it so go ahead and make sure that all of that works and now as you can see this is what my proper calibrated gamepad looks like go ahead and hit apply ok then hit ok again and that is pretty much it by the way make sure to keep the x output file in a file I mean like a folder then go to save configuration so that you don't have to configure your controller every time you start it. Now if you are going to keep your controller connected all the time then I recommend you enable start with windows for that go to tools then go to settings and then hit run at windows startup by the way also you can start this one hit guardian setup during startup. So go ahead and hit this one as well like as I have said earlier if you are going to keep your joystick or controller connected all the time. Now we are done with our X output but we also have a little bit of thing to do. Now after you install Hidhide Guardian what you will see is that there is another application which is called Hidhide Configuration Client I guess that is what it is called. Now if you do not see it in the desktop go ahead and search it and just type Hidhide. So this is the one that you are looking for go ahead and open it. Now first of all what you have to do is from here let me just like I already had it set up so let me set up it again for you. So go ahead and press this plus button. So then after that go ahead and find X output. Now I have kept my X output folder in the desktop. So I had to go there. So X output then I mean desktop then X output then here is the X output. By the way you have to find it yourself or I mean wherever you are going to keep this X output file. So go ahead and hit this and hit open. Now what it will do is make an exception for the X output. So whatever this thing does does not work on X output. Now let me tell you what this why you need this. Now I have been getting a lot of comments telling me that they are actually having double input for some reason. Well it is because the game is actually taking both like the direct input and X input from your controller. For that you will need this hit height configuration client. So hit this one so make sure that X output is shown here then go to devices. Now the controller I have here is called a sonic entertainment I mean wireless controller basically this one. So go ahead and tick this so that it does not act like a controller I mean you will still be giving the inputs but this input will not work in games. So make sure to tick this one enable device hiding and well that is pretty much it now you can go ahead and open a game and as you can see I am playing the game using a controller now I know it is not the proper way to show but I hope this works for you and it also worked for me. So I hope this works and well this is it for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.